And hello everyone, welcome back to some Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. I'm Mage, uh, the guy playing the game currently for you, I guess. And uh, yeah, we're in episode 3 now, and I decided uh, it's about time we delved into the card game. So here we go, let's go to the left here, and we're going to be playing a card game with this rather splendid looking woman, who I have a love-hate relationship? Well, actually, it's mostly hate. I don't know why I said love. I don't really like this woman at all. Or, to be perfectly honest with you guys, uh, she's part of a side quest that sucks dick. But uh, we're going to talk to her anyway. She is the Queen of Cards. I travel all over the world to monitor and enforce the various card rules. What do you want to know? Um, yeah, this region's rules, please. The following rules have been accepted in Balam. Open which pretty much means you can use whatever cards you want in your deck. And we can pay her 30,000 gil to pass on a new rule to the region. No thanks. Uh, the same rule. I don't even like the same rule. Why the hell you would want that spread? I have no idea. Um, no. <laughs> no thank you. God, I, yeah, this woman is really such a pain in the ass to do her side quest. It's ridiculous. The current trend of the trading rules. Okay, might as well ask all of these options. Trading rule is based on Balaam's rule. There is little trading taking place. Trading rule 1 will spread out from this region. Now, we don't really want that because that pretty much means if you win a game of cards, you'll only be able to take one card from your opponent as, um, as your reward. So, we really want a better rule than that if we can. I just, I'm not 100%, no matter how many times I play this game, I never really know how these rules work. Like, how they spread, how you abolish rules, it's... It's a little bit complicated for me at least, although I am a bit of a simpleton, so... I mean, we can ask her how the rules are passed on, but I think she just gives a pretty vague answer. Uh, basically, each region has its own rules, the rules you're carrying are passed on as you travel to various regions. Okay, that part I understand. As for the trading rules, they gradually spread out from a region where the card game is most popular. Okay, so if you play lots of cards in one particular region, then that trade rule will spread? I guess? Uh, but the, uh, this region can change constantly depending on your course and actions. Also, my presence in a region can change its trading rules at times. It's really, like, I have no idea, okay? Do not ask me, all right? I, <laughs> I do not fully understand myself. But we're gonna play her. We have some decent cards now. We have uh, the Ifrit card and also that uh, Elvare card, which was super, super rare to find, but we got it. And so yeah, before you play a game, you get the rules and, um, oh, the trade rule is now diff difference. Which means if you win by, say, two points, you get two cards, which is definitely better than rule, uh, trade rule one. Okay, well, we'll play her. We'll see if we can beat her. You'd think being the card queen should be really hard to beat, but I don't think, at least at this point in the game, she has any decent cards. Uh, so we're going to use Ifrit, Elvare, Bomb Card, Glacial Eye, and... You know what, we'll use two bomb cards. Yeah. Um, okay, those cards are pretty crap. And uh, thankfully she's going first. I hate going first in this card game, guys. Um, right, so, the problem is, pretty much how the, oh, by the way, yeah, I guess I should explain how the card game works. It is really simple, or at least it starts out pretty simple. Um, the card she just placed on the top left has um, a 1 to the right of it and a 1 to the bottom. So if we put a card below it that has a number greater than 1, we are going to take that card. Now the problem is, once we do take that card, it means that this spot will be open and it will only be a 1 number on the right as well, so she'll be able to take it back just as easily. So the way I usually like to play is uh, pretty defensively. I'm going to put Elvare in the bottom left. Because it's 7 and 8, that's pretty, that's, you know, pretty high numbers, so that's good. Um, oh, you're putting it there, are you? Okay. 
Well, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to take that card. But I know you're going to take it straight back, yeah, but that's fine. Because... Uh, I'm going to take those two. Oh, interesting play. Okay, actually, well... We can just do this, and we've won! So, we should win four cards now. Yeah, select four cards you want. And um, the names, when you over, you know, hover over a card and it's blue, it means you don't have that card yet. So we're going to take a Buell card, Cockatrice, Creeps, and I guess a Gizzard card. We've already got one of those. So yeah, that's the card game in a nutshell, in its most basic of forms. Um, as you can see, some of these cards have like flame symbols and lightning symbols. That's their element, but elements currently aren't in play. The element rule is not enforced, so we don't need to worry about it. And that's it. Now, I wonder... I'm hoping that the trade rule difference will apply to other card games in this region. So I'm going to go play someone else. Uh, I think the woman near the, f uh, like, the petrol station, the gas station, I think we can play this woman. Now, I'm, I'm going to be playing a lot of cards, okay? But I'm going to do most of it off screen. The only time I'm really going to show cards... Oh, trade rule one? No. I think if you keep on trying to play a person, the rules will change. Or they can change. I don't want Trade Rule 1, that sucks. No! What happened? Do I need to go back to the Queen? See, this is what I don't understand. Sometimes it's just a little bit random. Ugh, and I forgot what I was gonna say now, too! Ugh. No, yes, right. There are rare cards in the, in the game where only particular NPCs have them. I'll show trying to get those, but most of my card playing will be off screen. So let's try and play her again and see if the rules are different. Direct. Now, direct, I really don't like. Because that means in order to win a card, you have to have taken it. So, no. No thanks. What if we play her again? Difference. Okay, I like that rule. I like that rule a lot, but I'm trying to get it so that it... It sort of follows me around, if you will. It's really, I don't know... Again, do not ask me how the card game works. The intricacies of it have eluded me my whole goddamn life. Trade Rule 1. Okay, I... I have played this in the past where pretty much as soon as you play the Queen, her rule kind of sticks with you, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, and if I'm going to be playing lots of cards off screen, I definitely don't want... the Trade Rule 1 rule, because it sucks. There we go, that's better. Right, let's play this woman. And then, again, I won't show too many card games after this. Unless you guys want to see them. I mean, what I could do, I suppose, would be uh, I could like do random streams where I try and just play lots of cards. And um, There will come a point in the game where I will be doing a lot of cards, but not just yet. So, she's got a Cactuar card there with a 2, so we could take that pretty easily. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take it with the Bomb. And the only thing is... Well, in fact, no, we're, we're going to be safe. Yeah. That's actually worked out nicely. Um, so, we're going to put Ifrit in the bottom right, because that is a pretty much guaranteed way of not losing a card. And... We'll pop you... There, take the caterpillar, probably lose it straight away. No. Interesting. Okay, we have won this one quite easily. That's another four cards for us, so we'll take the cactuar, uh, the blitz, and just random cards, whatever. Because I will be turning a lot of these cards into items and then magic. And speaking of Turk, uh, Turking, <laughs> no, this isn't Final Fantasy VII. Uh, there's no Turks in this game, but we are going to use our ability that we learned with Shiva, which is the Water Ice Magic Refine. We can turn 
items into spells, like the fish fins, which we were getting from the fish on the beach. Uh, one of those will turn into 20 water spells. Now, that is a pretty damn good spell to have this early in the game. So we're going to completely max out our character's uh, water spell inventory, 100 each. And those are going to go straight into our junctions. Specifically, I'm guessing either strength or magic. Well, we could get 25 uh, magic with the water spell, but I'm going to put it into strength because we get 39. Holy crap, that's awesome for this point in the game. That's going to help so much. And the same for Squall, 37. Sweet. Very nice. Now, his um, spirit, I think if we put Cure in there, yeah, that goes up to 15, so that's good. Usually Cure spells are good for, like, HP and spirit, usually. But um, let me just check Quistuses again. Can I increase the magic by anything? No. Okay, well that's fine, that's um, pretty good stats. Uh, we got Ifrit last time, and he's uh, he's not learned anything yet, because I've not really done any grinding. But once he learns HP Junction, we can increase our health, which would be really good. And uh, yeah, th there we go. So, now that we've pretty much done everything I want to do with Quistis in our party, uh, it's about time we went back to uh, the garden. Because we finished our uh, exam in the fire cavern. But there is, uh, there is another exam looming on the horizon that is something else. I am very excited to do it. So, back to the garden, and Quistis, unfortunately, is going to leave us. I also like, by the way, that whenever you come back to Balam, in fact, I'm going to do it again, it shows the garden. I've always loved that. It's a nice little touch. And it's such a cool-looking building as well. It's... Uh, it's it's almost as if they knew that it was really cool looking, so they wanted to show it off at every opportunity. But uh, anyway, yep, Quistis uh, says, well done. Let's see. I thought there was something else I needed to go over with you before you take the seed exam. Oh yes, taking care of your GF. Uh, it's something you have to watch out for. Yeah, always take care of your girlfriends, guys. And your guardian forces. We don't need to watch this. She's pretty much just explaining that they level up with experience, and learn abilities, and crap like that. Bye, Quistis! So, yeah, we need to put on our uniform and uh, meet at the first floor lobby. And our uniform, as you may expect, will uh, be on our dorm. Ah. Draw point has restocked. Get some more cure spells. Which will uh, slightly boost our spirits. So yeah, we need to go get changed, but um, there's a couple of things we can do before we go do that. We could play some more cards, of course. Uh, there is, or there are, I should say, two rare cards we can get at this point, I think, that I might try and grab. But I also definitely want to make sure I'm saving, because, yeah, card, cards can, can be really really difficult to gauge sometimes. Like, you can be destroying everyone constantly, but then suddenly the AI, like, grows a pair, and then you lose a really rare card, and you have to win it back, and it's just, ugh, very annoying. So I'm going to do a quick save here. Uh, I'm going to make a new save file, though, just to be sure. So, unused block three, there we go. Do, 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 do. Now, at various intervals, uh, there is a little kid in a blue top that runs around. Here and other areas of the garden, he has a special card that I want to grab. Let's see if we can find him. I think we can play cards with this guy, but he doesn't really have anything rare. Uh, we're going past the library, we've just been there before. This is the training center that we will have a reason to go to later as part of the story, so I'm not going to bother going in there just yet. And then going this way, I think the car park? Yeah, this is the car park. It's one of the areas in the game that's completely wasted, really. There's no point to it. It's You see it like once or twice. There's, it, there's nothing to do there whatsoever. As you would expect, it's just a place where they park the fucking cars, but... 
it's just a shame, you know, I wanted there to be more to it. Uh, that's our dorms. We'll go there soon. And of course, we've been to the uh, cafeteria. In fact, that is where one of the cards we can get is. Oh, here he is! Here's a little shit. Hey, you want to play cards? I do. Trade rule difference. Excellent. So, let's uh, not go easy on the guy. Now, the problem is... They don't always play the rare cards that they have. And it's kind of annoying. Oh, but he has played it. Look at that cute little Moogle card. Yes, that is the mini Mog. And we want that one. Oh, boy, do we want that one. And, um, unfortunately... I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take it without losing a card. But... I think it's worth it. I think it is. We'll take that one. Because there's no way he's going to take that back. And... Yeah, the problem is... Uh, should I play defensively? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I am going to play defensively. Let's put Ifrit there. That's usually the way I play, though. Oh, he's just made a big mistake. You just made a big mistake, boy. In fact, um... Which one do I want to use? Let's use the bomb. Alright, as long as we don't mess this up, I think we've won. Yes, there we go. Phew! Yeah, I'm a very cautious player. And that might not be the way some of you guys like to play, but that's the way I've always done it. So let's grab the Mini Mog. And... Ooh, the Death Claw. I'll take the Death Claw. As opposed to the Fast Tito Kalen, or however the hell you say that monster's name. I've never, <laughs> never been able to say it. Yeah, we'll take those two. Ah, oh, yes. First, uh, well, not really first special card acquired, but first one we have to play someone for. So if we go to our card section, you can see all your collection here. Um, they're separated into different categories, like monsters, and then you've got boss ones. Um, well, that is, that is basically a boss card. And then you've got area. And then I think you get character ones as well. So we've got a decent collection already, really. The problem is you just don't want to lose those cards by carelessly or just being unlucky. So I will be saving quite often. Um, so let's um, yeah, let's go to the cafeteria since we're right outside. Sorry, this is going to be pretty much a card playing episode it seems, but uh, it is it is important. It really is. It's something I I do not want to um, do off screen. So any more hot dogs? Oh, no more hot dogs today either. God damn it. Oh, wait, have we actually been here? Did I show the cafeteria? You know what? I'm getting confused with the stream I did. Because in the stream I came here. Oh my gosh. Maybe I... Who knows? Anyway, this is the cafeteria. You can get hot dogs here. Or at least in theory, you can get hot dogs here. This lady's worked here many a year now. I must say, being young is so great. It's like this burst of energy flowing within you constantly and... Oh man, this may take a while. <laughs> Think of an excuse and leave. Sneak away. I'll lend an ear. Now, I'm pretty sure Squall would usually go for one of these two. But let's see what she has to say. But seriously, with all these youngsters around, I'm beginning to feel young myself. I start thinking to myself, Hey, I'm still all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> okay, she's gone crazy. Uh, well, anyway, I have a son about your age, but he is so incompetent and... You're still talking? This could mean trouble. Uh, no, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stick through this to the end. So my son, he's not as bright as all you here, so I was worried about his future. Then about a year ago, I'm going on a journey to see what I can do, he said. Can you believe him? I was really surprised at first, but my son had this serious look I'd never seen before. So I built up enough courage and told him to go for it. Well, when I look back at it all now, all he did was make my husband and me worry. But now my, uh, has he matured? He's grown up, I tell you. He sure gets lonely without him. Oh my, I'm sorry I got carried away. <laughs> Whenever I see you youngsters, I just get all nostalgic. I wonder where he is now. 
Oh boy, I wonder, I don't know who that lady's son is. I wonder if you actually meet him. I mean, I don't think you ever would ever know if it was him, but I wonder if you do. Now, there's a bunch of people just chilling here, which is something I would probably do quite a bit if I was a garden student, but sadly, I live in the real world and we don't get to be. But if we talk to this guy and talk to the guy in the back, he is one of the uh, tra trape groupies. And uh, he's, he's got a bit of a bit of a thing for Quistus. Cannot sleep at night thinking of your radiating beauty. That is why I'm always falling asleep in class. Oh, how sinful you are. But if we try and play cards and do the same, we can have a quick game of cards. And he, hopefully, will play the Quistus card. However, if it is like the stream I did a few days ago, he won't play it and it will take me forever to find it. But let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's be positive. You never know. But um, we should have the cards good enough to beat him. No, he hasn't played it. But he has played some pretty decent cards that we definitely do want. So uh, the only problem is we have to freaking go first. I hate going first. It sucks. I hate it. Okay, um, yeah, in fact, that is perfect. Thank you for playing that uh, particular move there, that was good. Uh, problem is we might lose a bomb card, ooh, it's a little bit dodgy. Ah, uh, damn it. But we should be able to win it back, I'm hoping, so I'm going to put the bomb there. Uh, we're not going to be able to win it back. Shucks. But, we can still win this. Oh no, no we can't. We can't win. Oh, can we? No, it might be a draw. It might be a draw because I've put, if I put this blitz on the top, it'll get taken below. And it's only got one on top, so I can't put it any lower than the top. Oh my god! I'm going to have to be super defensive. It's going to be a draw. Uh, but a part of me wants to risk... No, no, we've, it's a draw. Oh, okay. Well, not that it matters. Yep, it's a draw. Okay, so I'm going to keep playing him, chaps, until he plays the Quistus card. It could take a while, uh, but it's something I do want to do. So, um, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully the RNG... Our Jesus will smile upon me today. And finally, oh my god, we played quite a few games and he just would not play it. But there it is, the glorious Quistus card. It's a thing of beauty, it really is. And it is the first card we've come across with the value of A, which is pretty much the best value you can get. Is is well, it's 10. It is 10, but um. Uh, yeah, really damn good card. We definitely want that one in our collection, uh, but we still need to beat this guy, so let's be super cautious. And, okay. Uh, well, we're definitely not going to be winning that Quistus card. Well, not taking it anyway. Uh, but we can definitely put Elverate there. Okay, now things are going to get a little bit more tricky. Oh no, the last two cards she's got are really bad, so if we lose this now, uh, that's just purely my fault and I'm an idiot, so let's not do that. Uh, let's put a bomb there. And, oh shit. I have been an idiot. No! Why did I do that? Oh, crap. I shouldn't have... Put the bomb there. Bugger. We can't take it. We can't take it. And we have to put Mog to, to even save it and for it to be a draw. Oh my god. And we can't just do a straight rematch. That means he can play different cards now. Oh no, I missed my opportunity. Are you serious? I played all those card games. <laughs> and I didn't even beat him. I should have easily beaten him. Why? 
And he's not playing it anymore, you son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> back to the grind. Okay, he's, he's playing it again. It didn't take too long, thankfully. So this time, he, uh, she, yeah, he's going first, so... Uh, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, but we still gotta be careful. And uh, thankfully we have the Malboro card now, which is two sevens, which is another really good defensive card. And I might... Hmm, can he... Oh, we can take a six. So that's not gonna work. Yeah, and he's not played... He, that's interesting, usually they play their special cards first. I must remember that he has a freaking Quistis card there. Which... Oh, you know what? That, that could spell trouble for us. If he plays that in a certain position, we're kind of screwed. In fact... Ugh... That's really not good. That is really not good. Because he can take anything... Like, with that A, he can take anything. Shit. But, if we... Yeah, if we put Ifrit there... He's gonna take... He didn't take me! What a waste! What a waste of a Quistus! What the hell? Well, I'm glad but we still can't really do much with that. Um, so, let's be defensive again. We can't really do anything else. Right. I think... Oh, we can't really take that without losing another card, though. Mm, we could be okay. Just take that straight back. And we've won! There we go! Man, yeah, I'm really not the best at the cards. Like, I have to think really hard, and sometimes I just miss things. But hey, we got the Quistis card, finally! And we'll take um, an Elastoid as well. But you know what? In the process of playing him a few times to try and get him to play that, I've got a decent collection going. Not too many, still, um, but, you know, a few decent cards here. Like the Tonberry King, the El Noil, which is actually a really important card if you're going for the Lion Hearts on Disc 1. And I won't be doing, but you can, you know, it is possible to get Squall's Ultimate Weapon on Disc 1. And, uh, yeah, we got our first character card, Quistis, which is just such a good card, oh my god. Um... Right, I think we're going to be done with the card game for now, guys. I've bored you enough. We are going to progress. Uh, although, I would really like the, um, the next big part of the game to be its own video. So, we'll go change into our uniform anyway. Uh, or I could just quickly explore the rest of the garden that we've not seen. Because I keep on forgetting, we've not really been and looked at all these places. Like, this is the quad. Which um, is slightly better than the car park, in that stuff actually happens here. But there really isn't too much. Oh wait, this is- oh, it's her again! She's asking, asking if we play an instrument. Oh, I didn't realize this happened, or I forgot. Look, she's following us. Come on, don't ignore me. <laughs> the quad is a nice looking area, at least. Hey, I know you. I ran into you in the classroom, right? Yeah, you did. I completely forgot you could see her here. I'm on the executive committee for the Garden Festival. Oh, you are, are you? If you're interested, come by and check out the stage. I will do. Is this girl on rollerblades? I never noticed that before. She's on rollerblades. I thought that was against uh, garden rules. She, wow, she is really... No, I don't play an instrument. I'm ignoring I'm ignoring you, okay? You've already asked me this. But, uh, oh, she's gone. All members of the Garden Festival Committee have been dispatched to conflicts around the world. That transfer student seems to be really enthusiastic about it, but, uh, yeah, she... She's enthusiastic about everything. Oh, there she is. Are you interested in what I'm doing? Uh, yeah, we'll say we're interested. And you should join the Garden Festival Committee, too! Okay. 
Not right now, though. Not right now. I have I have other things on my mind, like exams and trying to become a seed. Which, by the way, yeah, I understand. A lot of you won't know what a seed is yet if you've not played the game before. But trust me, we will learn what a seed is. I mean, pretty much it's the special forces of this garden. But why would a school need a special forces unit, you may ask? Well, yeah, y you'll see. You will see. But that's the stage and that's the quad and it's... Yeah, there's not much to do. Will you talk to me? You won't talk to me. Can I play cards with you? No? Okay, then. God, can you imagine? Like, if this was set in the real world, how much trash would be at the bottom of that waterfall? How many beer cans and used Johnnies would be down there? It'd be ridiculous. If it was set in England, anyway. And, uh, yeah, this, this might come across as filler. It totally is. I am totally just killing time because I don't want this video to be too short, but I also <laughs> don't want to start the next part of the game yet. So we're going to check out the infirmary again. Pay a visit to Dr. Kadawaki, who we can play cards, and she might have some decent ones, but there's no rare ones, so there's no point doing it uh, on screen. Your exam's today, right? Take it easy now. Okay. Um, just, just to be thorough, I don't think there's any point to coming back here. I don't think there's anything to pick up or anything. But it's a very nice little office. Oh, you know what? There was um, there was a, like a chart on the wall there. Can I in interact with that? Oh no, no, I can't. Okay. Sorry, this is probably super boring. I mean, we could just have a shorter video, I guess. But at least we'll have shown off most of the garden now. Uh, apart from, like I say, the car park, but we'll be seeing that soon anyway, and the training center, which we'll be going to. And yes, we definitely have already seen the library, so let's go back to our dorms. Let's get changed. <laughs> it's just so relaxing walking around the garden. It will never, ever get old to me. Some Natterin school children, schoolgirls. That written test sure was hard. Oh, at least you made it to the written part. I still haven't finished all my credits yet. I know, I have a lot left too. It'd be nice if we could all take it together. Yeah, even cooler if all three of us pass. Again, nice little touch of students just going about their day, having little meaningless conversations that really don't affect you at all, but the nice flavor text. This is the dorms, we get our own save point here, and um, this dorm here is ours, but I always like to go in this one. Because I like to invade people's privacy. There's nothing you can do in here, but it's a really nice little uh, little dorm. That bed's made. That, I tell you what, that would not be my bed. My bed would be a freaking mess all the time. And not because of that, okay? None of, none of that hanky-panky going on in there. Just, just generally, I am a slob. Now this is our dorm. As you can see, there's a gunblade case. And, um... Yeah, we're gonna get changed. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said forget it, whoops. Oh, yeah. That is a pretty swanky looking uniform. Again though, like how long are his legs, guys? It's kind of insane. So we need to head to the first floor lobby. That is something we will do at the beginning of the next video. Again, I apologize if this was boring, especially if you don't like the card game, but it is a huge part of the game. And like I said, eventually it's gonna enable us to become super powerful. Like, once we can start turning these cards into items, we're going to be getting all sorts of uh, cool spells, and... Yeah, it's really going to up our junction uh, ability. But at least we got the water spell, that's that's good. Uh, we could actually um, take all the junctions off Quistus, I think I might do that. Oh, no, I'm going to leave it as it is, actually, because I can just do the switch thing. Once we get uh, more party members, perhaps, but Quistus will stay as she is for now. 
Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, again, <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling the best right now. I'm, a, I'm still recovering from a bit of a sickness, so I apologize for being, um, for being me. I'm sorry for being me, okay? <laughs> I, I'm sorry for always being so sorry and apologizing when I probably don't need to. But that's uh, episode three of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Really hope you're enjoying it, guys. And um, I've noticed quite a few people are playing it themselves, and that's awesome. I really hope you're having a great time with the game, especially if you're giving it another chance. Like, if you didn't really take to it the first time initially, when you played it back in the day or whatever, it just didn't click with you. I hope that, um, you know, playing it again with a, 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 f a fresher, opener, you know, more open mind, a fresher opener mind. I was about to say that, literally. I was about to say that. That was terrible. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm just going to stop. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Stay safe, look after yourselves, and uh, bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.